Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, bringing you a Grand Solar Minimum update on Wednesday, May 23rd, 11.44 p.m. Mountain Time, 2018. You, we're directly in Pahoa, Hawaii, where cracks in the road are now emanating a new anomaly, methane. Some of you may say methane, but it's still 25 times more powerful as a greenhouse gas than carbon dioxide. I hope they're taxing this mountain. Heads up, Kilauea. I'll leave you links to the oceanic, oceanographic review research here. As greenhouse gas methane is potent 25 times more effective than carbon dioxide and is currently emanating from the ground in Hawaii, a new threat and the latest natural phenomenon being seen at the eruption. Mayday, mayday, rare May snowfall in the north. Unexpected cold front turns out the most snow recorded in Bathurst in 25 years on this date. Put away the beach shorts and shades and get out the mittens and the knickers. <laughs> Those who left their winter tires on are going to be able to brag to their friends and pretend they saw this coming. Well, we did. Heads up. Let's check the GFS model. What are they talking about? Talking about heavy snows here in eastern Canada, Newfoundland. Look at it. And that's not it. After this event through Sunday, another event as June comes up to the north, bringing up to 40 centimeters of snow in June. And this is an interesting model. We have some snows coming into Wyoming in the next few days. But take a look at British Columbia as we get into June. Heads up, Alberta, BC. If you just planted, pff, I hope it's not sprouting. Snowfall warning for parts of Newfoundland. That's true, St. John's, New Zealand. <laughs> Newfoundland. June may be just around the corner, but some Newfoundlanders are facing more than 30 centimeters of snow on Wednesday. We just showed you the models. Eastern Canada about to get hit with 30 centimeters of snow. Ho, ho, ho. Happy June. And the winner is Michigan. There it is. Total, total seasonal snowfall through the Great Lakes just out to Yesterday, the winter of Michigan snowfall total this past winter at 312 inches. <laughs> oh my God, it's hotting on the Kawinal Peninsula. Kawinal, Kiwinal. There it is, the purple spot. Boom, you're the winner. Flint has Jeff, just, Flint, Michigan has just lived through its snowiest winter on record. Heads up. Not the entire state did not break records, however. Coming out of Minnesota, Executive Department, Mark Dayton, Governor, Executive Emergency Order 10-1807, declaring an emergency and providing relief from regulations to motor carriers and drivers operating in the state of Minnesota. You would think this has to do with trucking. Nope, it has to do with the grand solar minimum and agriculture. Due to late snowfalls, later than usual snow melt, farmers in Minnesota are faced with delayed and shortened spring planting seasons. Farmers in multiple states are starting field work all at the same time, which has caused a regional fertilizer shortage, requiring drivers to travel further to acquire the product. Long lines of terminals and on and on it is not looking good they can't even get the crops in the ground in minnesota and there is a warning flash floods hit paris intense hailstorm leaves serious crop loss in france history is repeating itself guys have have we heard this before i think so you probably heard it on this channel right here during this blip in the dalton minimum in 1801 we had the food riots in the uk after a massive hailstorm took out all the crops huh Heads up next year. That's probably going to be the scenario. And this is just a little taste, a precursor, because the events that are going to unfold in the next year or so are going to be epically greater than any events that unfolded in the Dalton Minimum. We are tasting the Dalton Minimum as a primer. A severe storm swept through France. This is capital of Paris on May 22nd, flooding the streets and metro stations. Intense hailstorms further south in Valacus destroyed almost a year's worth of Luberon cherry tree crops. Pshh. Heads up. Are you listening? Ship carrying wheat to Yemen hit by a missile. We need that wheat. 
London Reuters, a Turkish vessel carrying wheat to Yemen this month was hit by a rocket. More attacks on merchant ships are likely to spill over. Can you say add insult to injury? Heavy snow in the deep south. Ice closes the North Island's desert roads. Heads up, New Zealand. The icy weather created dangerous driving conditions around Garston, Lumsden, and areas further south. Milford Road shut. Heavy snow on the way. Guys, I didn't show you this photo. It's from, oh, it's already gone. Damn. The Milford Road was closed due to snow and more is also likely for the Crown Range Road as the south shivered in the coldest snap of the fall so far. The Milford Road State Highway 94 between Hollyford Junction and Chasm shut down Wednesday afternoon ahead of a significant dump around the Homer Tunnel between 40 and 60 centimeters of snow was likely overnight and during the day on Thursday. Down to 400 meters. The road will probably remain closed on Thursday. We are going to have epic coverage of this event tomorrow. Heads up. Snow is also likely on Friday. 9,500 lightning strikes slam the country. There is so much to talk about. Seismic update. Hawaii is rocking. Huge uptick in seismicity. Hawaii and Mayotte. Let's not forget. The island arc chain off of Africa is still ringing heavily. 4.8 just kicking off moments ago. And Hawaii will not start rumbling and they will not stop exploding things in Ely. Volcano News. Sabankaya sporadic emissions today. Dukono, Kilauea, Mayon, Sakurajima. We know about Kilauea. We saw the methane. The methane's coming out of the road cracks to add insult to injury. Increasing the toxicity of the gas and emanating greenhouse gases. Sakurajima erupted again today. Mayon eruption reported today. Dukono continuous volcanic ash emissions. Can you say global cooling, kids? <laughs> oh, back to the methane. This is not a Hollywood set. You are living on the planet Earth, and this is a nightmare. I'll leave you links to all the nightmares. Oceanographic research overview on the greenhouse gas methane as being 25 times more effective than carbon dioxide. Heads up, Al. Are you taxing Hawaii? Let's head over to Civil Beat. This is live between Fisher 17 and 20. The output now is greater than last night. So the uptick is continuous, it's ongoing, and it has not peaked. This Pohohu lava that is ejecting in spectacular fashion, I don't know how that tree is standing. It's being hit by lava. So that tree shouldn't be there in the morning. Neither are any houses in the area. Heads up. So we have hydrochloric acid being formed where these lava streams are entering the ocean. We have VOG, which is sulfur dioxide in the fog emanating in the southeastern region of the Big Island. And the eruptions are continuing to get more vast, greater, and more epic. And now they are not flowing downstream. They're flowing uphill towards the geothermal plant. Yes, they're backing up the hill on the rift zone and going the wrong way now, kids. So not only is methane coming out of the ground and glowing blue, and not only is the fountaining, look at it, it's live, epic, seismic uptick, methane, lays, vog. <laughs> I don't know what you could add to the list. I think it's time to start looking for a new apartment. Are we headed towards another deep solar minimum? <laughs> I don't know what's happening with my computer. All of these graphs are going away. Let's look at the GISP2 predicted. You are here. So, on regular intervals, we reach solar maximum. 
just like we did several years ago. And then quickly after Solar Max, there is an epic event that ends the empire on the planet each and every time. Here's the end of the Minoans. Here's the end of the Romans. Here's the end of the Vikings. Here's the end of the Jarkasses. <laughs> Yes, that's you. If you think I'm making this up, I'm not. I didn't create these graphs. These coming out of the mainstream. It's called paleoclimatology. It comes from ice core data. In this case, the Greenland ice cores. And you can see here from the GISP2 data here that the planet has been cooling quite drastically in a linear fashion. Although cyclically, the linear trend is straight down into major glaciation, which happens exactly at this point. Exactly at this downturn is the turn to major glaciation. I'm not making it up. I'm simply sharing the data. And it comes from all types of mainstream sources. Here we have the last 150 years plus the next 100 years expected. And it brings us way below centennial minimum levels. So in just a few years time, we're going to be dropping below. We are right now at the Dalton level. So we're actually a little lower here on the graph, but we're going to be dropping below to monitor minimum levels in just the next few years. Are we headed towards another deep solar minimum? According to Universe Today, they've come out with this article. Have you been keeping an eye on the sun? One of the top astronomy stories for 2018 may be what's not happening and how inactive our host star has become. I beg to differ. The star is quite active here. We've had sea flare, sea flares in the last 12 hours up into the C2 range. So we're going to be keeping a close eye on this. But this is coming from the mainstream. They're picking up what we're putting down and it's slowly coming out. It's trickling out. But people are so embedded in the global warming dogma that scientists plan to block the sun with geoengineering to cl combat climate change. We covered this. This is the Harvard project and the absurdity of the climate change hoaxers has taken a full step further into the bizarre as scientists from Harvard are planning a ridiculous stunt. Here is the paper to prove the stunt coming from Royal Society Publishing. We'll leave you links to it if it ever downloads. It's true, kids. Now spurred by these asinine ideas that have been allowed to fester, scientists from Harvard are moving forward with their insane plan to spray the sky with geoengineered materials aimed at blocking the sun in all the hopes of preventing the mythical global warming from happening. <laughs> oh, stratospheric controlled perturbation experiment, a small scale experiment to improve understanding of the risks of solar and geoengineering to understand the risks of solar geoengineering. I think the title says it all. Harvard scientists moving ahead on plans for atmospheric geoengineering experiment. This is the D bag in charge right there. <laughs> Professor David D bag Keith. Hey, David, why don't you come on the channel and we'll have a spirited discussion on the radio program. <laughs> I doubt it. His funding would be at risk. So this guy got a bunch of money to, to waste a bunch of taxpayers, hard earned income and for naught. What we should be worried about is the infrastructure on our planet, which is about to fail. If you're not preparing for what's about to happen as we monitor it, you haven't been watching. So continue to watch every night until your head pops out of your nether regions. Guys, they're continuing to demonetize us. They're trying to stick a hammer in the coffin so we do not tirelessly work on these videos. What we lost in the last five days is $500 in revenue. Basically, my entire daily salary for making the show is $100 a day. And I have been decapitated. By the man. 
Don't go to Orlando. Police are testing Amazon's real-time facial recognition, and you do not want to be in it. This is a nightmare. Did you guys see that movie with that cool guy in it where they actually charge you for future crimes? That's where we're headed. I can't wait for the reset because the powers that be do not want you to survive and thrive in the future. They want you to be controlled inside of the cage. Keep a close eye on the sun. It will give us a warning to when the events occur. Now, I think that the game changer is going to come from the plasma sphere above us, and it's not going to be in the form of climate change. It's going to be in the form of a grid destroying flare that slips slips uh, by us unnoticed. All of a sudden, the sun gets active and boom, X32. And you have 12 hours to buy everything in the local supermarket before the shit hits the fan. That's the sad truth. Guys, I hope you got something out of the video. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. Fear is a liar. We love you. Be safe.